It looks like we've got some dodgy prizes here oh, for both players. Yes. Adam looking at two Arceus V and his prizes. Two psychic energy as well. Could be Giratina does loss zone a lot of energy when it attacks. And Kai, two Drizzile and one Inteleon. And I'm just looking now at his count on the Inteleon. It does look like he plays he plays two. Okay. He does play two. So it's okay. not it's not curtains yet on that, but is less chance of him hitting it. Yeah. And straight off the bat, we see everyone's favourite first turn, Battle VIP Pass. Yes, so Battle VIP Pass, as we've already mentioned, such a strong, strong card to play. And if you can see it, turn one, that's pretty much going to be, you know, you're, you're pretty much going to be smiling all the way through. Gonna, Kai's going to be able to get two Pokemon onto the bench, and it's going to be, of course, two of those Sobbles. Interestingly enough, kind of accepting the risk against the Lost Zone box variants and playing the 60 HP Sobbles. Yeah, it's been a big talking point, right, <laughs> this last couple of weeks. Is it 60 or 70 HP? Is Keep Calling more valuable than the extra 10 HP? Yeah. Well, we might find out here, definitely, because um, on Adam's side of the board, not playing a Sableye. So he doesn't have access to the spread, so maybe not. But, I mean, uh, to be fair, though, like with Sableye, you, you can't really, you don't really have the engine to get Sableye going with Arceus Giratina. You're not playing any of the Lost Zone yeah, cards. It's unlikely to get 10. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Really That's definitely true. Yeah, you had to, what, do the attack five times, and by that point, you've won <laughs> the game anyway. So, uh, so. But more interestingly, the Espeon VMAX making its way into Adam's deck. We did see it quite a lot at Solid City. A yes. really interesting tech. Um, protecting you from effects of attacks of your opponents, stopping that Sableye from damaging yourself. What do you think about that in Arceus Giratina? I, I think it has a lot of merit, and I think um, a player as you know, long-standing and skilled as Adam would have could be considered very carefully about whether this space is in the deck that that takes up uh, warranted. And he's obviously decided yes. And given we know the power of the Lost Zone box deck, I think it makes a lot of sense to include it. Yeah, definitely. And Adam here going for a pretty standard Arceus. Of Arceus is a card that I I really like because. Oftentimes we judge uh, other decks first turns by how much we see, how many things we see them do. But to be honest with you, Arceus attach is as good as it gets for Arceus on its first turn. They're pretty happy with that as long as the V-Star comes down second turn. Yeah, yeah, the Arceus decks have always been like this. You know, they don't really need much to get going. And that goes back, and there to, it is. Yeah, <laughs> and that goes back to what we were saying earlier, right, about the fact that um, Arceus can get away with a good setup with not a lot of uh, bench Pokemon. And that is exactly the kind of deck that can do well against Palkia. As we see there, the... Uh, we see the <laughs> fist bump for seven. <laughs> that professor's research. Opting for the Juniper in this deck <laughs> and uh, Adam wow a really good first turn so far the attachment the band able to KO the Pelkia with a band and a Zigzagoon giraffe um, there's, there's no V-Star no, oh yeah no, I mean oh right, next turn yeah, 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 down the line down, down the line, line. getting ahead of myself yeah. but uh, <laughs> definitely right now the Arcus the band attachment great first turn and then being able to Trinity charge three energy to that Giratina, yeah. making it a threat straight off the bat. That, yeah, that's an extreme solid first turn. And uh, equally, Adam, with, uh, only putting one on the bench. I mean, Kai could, in theory, get a knockout, but like, there's going to be a lot of work needed to get there. Yeah, he's started off with what he wants to see, though. He's got that bucket, meaning that he's able to get two water energy out of the deck, put them in his hand. And I think I see, oh no, I thought it's the V-Star, the Pelkia at the front of his hand there. Two Sobble. Has he got access to... Oh, there's the Irida. I was going to say, has he got access to a Drizzle this turn to really move himself forward? Irida, grabbing yourself a water Pokemon and an item card. Yes, so Irida, one of the supporters that I think really lent itself to the increasing strength of the Inteleon engine and, of course, the strength of Palkia as an archetype as a whole. And... Uh, Proving it there with uh, going for, of course, Radiant Greninja, which is one of the other reasons why <laughs> like <laughs> this, this one uh, of the <laughs> other many <laughs> long list of reasons. Yes. Palkia is a very good card. Yeah, and uh, we see we see Greninja a lot. Greninja really pulling ahead is probably the most played Radiant Pokemon. We have seen Guard yes. of War and Horlucha recently, uh, being able to look opposite its end of the coin, reducing damage and increasing damage. But in Palkia, it makes so much sense. Getting that water energy in there, activating your Melanies as well yes. with those discards of water, activating Star Portal as well for Palkia, gra grabbing free water and um, out of the discard. It's them any way you like so it, it's definitely got its merits Greninja and we Ooh. see the scoop up net for the second concealed cards yes of course resetting that ability going for the concealed cards again just wanted to draw as much as possible and try to find his way into a Palkia V-Star perhaps like the one just there and uh, does have the second water engine hand ready to go to a attach and will be able to go for um, yeah, well, I've, I've got the name of the attack. This is so bad. <laughs> uh, Subfix Plow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's, it's around a lot at the minute. It's it definitely is. one that's ingrained in my head <laughs> yes. right now, definitely. And oh, opting for the big charm here. That's really interesting. Really trying to stay out of the way of that damage. Putting it in his hand. 
instead of attaching it straight away. Yes, got the it. Evo Incense as well to get himself another Drizzile this turn. And that's the great thing with Drizzile. You yeah. can get countless supporters, countless tra trainers throughout your turn. And really, really move yeah. your hand forward to where you want to see it. Another Drizzile, or perhaps I think more idea there. I think Kai wants to get a second Palkia V-Star. Because the way you want to set up the build-up of uh, the Intelon engine is that you ideally want to have like one of the basic, one of the stage ones. So that you can have the option of either going for Drizzile or Inteleon to search for things. And... Uh, Actually, just like Kai is actually going straight for the Shady Dealings Inteleon, in fact, straight for, for next it. turn. For next turn. I'm just checking here to see if he plays that cheeky rare candy that he does oh. indeed play. Uh, the oh, cheeky okay. Cheeky candy that's been sneaking in the decks recently. Maybe not something he has in his hand right now, but it is an option if a Sobble is ever left down there. That Inteleon being able to grab him two trainers straight off the bat. Yeah, of course, rare candy. It's fun, funnily enough, a card that for the longest time just didn't see play because there were no really stage two decks that were like viable as attackers, but here in combination with the Inteleon engine, seeing play as a one-off just to kind of skip ahead from Sobble to Inteleon and just really uh, go straight for the two trainers that might, when one isn't quite enough from a Drizzile. Definitely, and I think that the, the big charm here, as I was going to mention before it came down, a really, really big card in this matchup. Obviously, Kai's going to be hoping that that Giratina can't find itself the choice ban, being able to go straight through yes. a Pelkey with 310, trying to make himself a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger to be able to deal with those attacks. And... Um, it's it you know it could definitely cause problems. Adam does play two choice belt, so it is you know it is in the deck. It's available to him. One's already down. Yeah. So he needs to find another one to be able to get through this Palkia with the Giratina. Yeah, that is true. Um, we do see there Kai just going for the subspace swell. Obviously not quite enough for a knockout. So we've only five on the bench total. So going to be doing 160 damage, and now it's going back to Adam to see what kind of counter attack he can mount. Like you said, uh, going to need to find another choice belt for the Giratina if there's going to be a KO happening on this active uh, Palkia V-Star, but doesn't look like he quite has it yet. So first off, going for an Ultra Ball, I imagine we're going for an Arceus V-Star here. Yeah, I think that Starburst here is too important not to opt for. Another important note is uh, Kai did actually use Star Portal at the end of his yes. lesson, using his V-Star power, putting two energy onto his Greninja. Now Greninja, we talked about how good its ability is. Concealed card, <laughs> great. But its attack is just as good. Yeah. 90 damage to two of your opponent's Pokemon. Incredible yeah. card. Yeah, Moonlight Shuriken. It, it, it's like you said, as if like the ability wasn't good enough, but it also has this insane attack that can, you know, combining with being easily powered up with the Star Portal, just can snipe two things, uh, either finishing off something in the active and something else on the bench, or just, you know, picking off two uh, easy bench sitters, like, say, you know, against uh, other Inteleon decks. You can just, you know, pick off their whole engine. It's... um. It is one of probably one of the strongest cards to come out of that whole set, if I'm honest. Definitely, and I think I think definitely showing its merit is the best Radiant Pokemon. Probably, well, should I say the most versatile? Yes. Uh, Radiant Pokemon here in a lot of decks, and of course with Mirage Eight coming out, it's finding its way into things like you know Lost Box mm -hmm. and other things, being able to be activated by it. Mirage Gates as well as Star Portal. But Adam here opting for the Giratina V Star off that original search, and then opting for the Arceus, and now. Searching his deck with Starbirth for any two cards that he likes. The god Pokemon does what it wants. It gets any two cards that yep. he wants. And interestingly enough, we did see a peek of it in his hand. Adam choosing to go, choosing to play the Radiant Gardevoir uh, as, the, as the Radiant Pokemon of choice. Not going for the Radiant Horlucha. Perhaps thinking there aren't really enough like VMAXs in the format that, uh, you know, warrant playing it. I mean, Curum VMAX is obviously a big factor in the format. But maybe Adam thinking I don't really need Radiant uh, Horlucha to beat that deck, yep. perhaps. I think maybe uh, the other the other one being Mew, but obviously playing the choice yes. belts. He's hoping that maybe without Oracoria, Mew wouldn't be able to survive a hit from Giratina. Obviously, Star Requiem in that matchup as well. If not, Star Birthing can be really strong, being able to take three prizes for just one attack. And uh, the oh, the retreat here and going into the Giratina. Yeah. Oh, there it is. The and other choice there belt. There is the belt. And wow. that is not good news for Kai. Putting nope. that big charm on, trying to protect that Palkia, but unfortunately not enough to keep it in the game. And it is knocked out by our Giratina. Yeah, and that's an insanely strong uh, first KO for Adam now because Kai is now left with a Greninja with two energy and a Palkia with nothing. And with Star Portal already used, Kai basically needs to find Melanie in order to be able to attack the Palkia this turn. Yeah, I think uh, another really, really exciting note here is that Adam opting to discard the energy off Arceus instead of himself, meaning this Giratina is posed and ready to go again next turn, meaning that if Kai can't find the answers to either move it or knock it out, it's going to be a rough third turn as yeah. well. So there's the capture energy going on to the Greninja, so Kai will be able to search search the deck for any basic Pokemon and put it onto the bench. Probably going to grab another Sobble just so that that Inteleon Shady Dealings engine can keep the going. The keeps going and the wheel keeps turning. Yeah. 
But the Greninja also now ready to go. Two water and a colorless to be able to use Moonlight Shuriken. Yep. So that is posed and ready to go. O Kai's only real option as of right now, if he's already attached there, having used Star Portal already. So um, we may did uh, did it do enough damage to the Arceus? No, on the no, 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 because it was 160 damage. Because there was five, there was uh, five on the bench total, four on one side, one on the other. So yeah, it plus the 90, that'd be 250, which is yeah, not, not enough still. Not enough, and that is all. Oh, that is not spelling good signs for Kai. No, it's not. But as we said, opting for that sob or making sure that that loop can continue for turn. And then benching another Pelkia, very, very important here. He can't go without an attacker if this other Pelkia V goes down. Yeah, absolutely not. And uh, gonna not gonna be able to commit an energy to either of the Palkias, unfortunately, which is a shame. But oh, actually, just gonna go for the boss's orders. Gonna bring up the Arceus uh, V Star. Of course, it doesn't have any energy on it, so maybe Kai is hoping that it will get stuck and uh, he'll Hopefully. be able to capitalize on that. But uh, then going for the Moonlight Shuriken. Yeah, 90 on the active, 90 on the Giratina V Star. The Giratina V-Star now dropping down in HP, meaning it's going to be easier for our Pelkia to pick it off later on in the game uh, if Kai so wishes. And of course, that uh, Arceus only 30 HP left. It's going to be quite easy for something. Um, Kai may play the quick shooting in Teleon here. I don't believe I saw it in the deck list, though. It's yes. uh, oh, oh, it, oh, it, it isn't it? Oh, here. no, it I was is wrong. It is indeed there. So Kai definitely going to be able to ping that off at some point if he's able to get the Intellion down, maybe allowing him to get one of those incredible three or four prize turns. Yeah, absolutely. So now down goes the Radiant Gardevoir. Maybe uh, Adam wishes he would bench that last turn and would have uh, you know, reduced some damage coming in. Um, although, wait, no, the, the only blocks damage on, on Vs, no, yeah. Okay, right? Okay, yeah, so in any case... Um, it's Just been, been played down now. The Arceus. And Kai's plan worked. He was oh. able to trap the Arceus there. Wow. Set it up very nicely. Just that boss. Sometimes it's a play you need to do. Give yeah. yourself an extra turn. Keep yourself in. As we said at the start, if you're in the game, you have a chance to win it. Yes. And Kai proving there just how to do that. Keeping himself sustainable. Bossing that into the active. Keeping him alive in this game. And the Inteleon comes down from hand. Going back in for two yeah. more trainers. And there goes the Shady Dealings on the Inteleon for two trainer cards. Obviously, one of them going to be that Melanie straight away. That, uh, that's There's no other option it's there. It's a given. It, yeah, it's it, given. It has to be that. Without the Melanie, <laughs> an attack can't happen this turn. But it is going to be interesting to see what the other card Kai goes for is here. Looks like perhaps... Oh, he needs to get the V-Star down, right? So, yes. so perhaps uh, something that allows him to access that. Uh, obviously, we see the Incense coming to the front of the deck, allowing him to grab that straight from the deck if he so plays it. Or, ooh, the scoop up net as well. Picking up that Drizzile and Inteleon most probably, putting it back down on the Sobble and going back in for another search. Yes, as, um, scoop up net is, of course, um, basically one of the crutch parts that makes the Inteleon engine so successful as it is because it's not just the fact that you can evolve, evolve up all these lines and you can keep searching for these trainers. You can pick them up with scoop up net and just like reuse them. And I think it's safe to say once scoop up net rotates out of the format, the Intellion engine probably won't see play in the same yeah, way it has. Yeah, it definitely won't be the same way that it's utilized now. Well, yeah. and I think I think um, you know definitely talking with Ross last round as well. You know, scoop up net it, it's 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 a key to so many locks as well. You know, being able to reuse Greninja, um, being able to reuse your Intellions, moving those confes up and down the board as well, being able to flower select as much as possible. Great card, and of course, very suited for this deck. Yes, so Kai. But Gonna need to still find another water energy, of course, and I actually don't see one don't in Kai's see it. hand. Off the three he got oh. from Melanie. That could spell danger here because if Kai can't get the attack off with the Palkia V Star, then the Arcus V Star being trapped in the active for another turn doesn't really matter. Yeah, it sort of counteracts it, doesn't it? The yeah. extra turn he bought himself didn't come to anything in fruition, it yeah. didn't get him any advantage. Therefore, it goes back to where it was, and unfortunately, that position was where Kai didn't look too strong in the yeah. game. So the scoop up net, picking up Anteleon, as we said, and Kai perhaps opting to go back into the deck again with Shading Dealings here, and he does. Yeah. So if there's another Capacious Bucket left in the deck, then obviously that can find the water engine needed, and it looks like there is, so yeah, that, so that is fine. Um, Capacious Bucket, a brilliant card in this deck again, and item, it's, it's item energy essentially, yes. you know, you can grab your energy whenever you like, uh, definitely a merit not many other decks in the format have. No. It's definitely something very unique to Palkia, yeah. being able to use an item to grab its energies. Uh, Professor's Letter back in the day, yeah, very I was similar. Say, I was going to say, I remember a time when any deck had access to that, <laughs> but now it's only water decks that Water's have access to only, that. only, everyone else is banned, and Kai yeah. here showing its worth, grabbing that water he needs to get the attack yeah. off. Feels a bit but unfair, doesn't it? 
think still missing the V-Star here, though. Ooh. Yeah, the attach the other penalty is just giving himself a little bit of insurance in case this one goes down. And the heavy ball looking at his prizes. Oh, yes. Uh, struggling to pick him up a little bit, but... Uh, you know. There were no basics in there. So, no. Kasui and Heavy Ball, for those of you who don't know, you can look at your prizes, take a basic Pokemon that's in there, put it into your hand, switch it with another card from your hand, shuffle your prizes, and put them back. Of course, we did note that there were um, Drizziles and Inteleons in his prizes, but unfortunately, no basics for no. him to grab. But information is power in the Pokemon TCG, and definitely knowing what those prizes are will help him along, I'm sure, in this game. Indeed so, and uh, now... However, he's done us an injustice and not no. put him back out properly. Yeah, I was, I was just going to say, like, we can't see what's... Well, that's not the same word at the end of the game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I, like, you know, <laughs> it's sorted now, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> it's all gravy. <laughs> so Kai's just trying to map out here what's the best thing to do. We see that Adam now getting rid of, obviously, the Espeon V yeah. went in the discard earlier, so the VMAX probably going to follow suit. No use for it at the minute in this yeah. matchup. And and uh, then, so that must mean then that Kai was able to find the Capacious Bucket, but not the Evolution. Yes. So, yeah, was just forced to attach I and imagine now he's pass. just trying to work out in his head just the best way to try and keep himself in this game if it's possible. Adam on the opposite side of the table, oh. trying to find the quickest way to close it out and put Kai in the vice and really squeeze this deck out of play and the Pelkia is gone and Kai down to his last attacker. Will he be able to swing this back in his direction? It is the classic Zigzagoon combo to get the extra 10 and then uh, 210 on the, tr the Trinity Nova Choice Belt combo and that will be all she wrote for that Palkia. Adam is in a commanding position here and even if Kai is able to mount a counter attack now with the Palkia, Adam can just come in with a Giratina and win. And win. Yeah, definitely. I think that Kai is against the ropes here. As you said, that Brilliant utility of Zigzagoon, another great card that has been around for a long time, but yes. allowing uh, Arceus to almost counteract with the band and the Zigzagoon, that minus 20 for yeah. the double turbo energy, still making a strong V attacker, being able to take out his fellow two prizes. Yeah, and Kai isn't completely out, completely out of it. Of course, that Giratina on the bench is still damaged, so if um, there's enough stuff on the bench going on, then Kai can use that cross switcher in his hand oh to uh, bring up the Palkia and bring up the Giratina and, and double out. Inteleon search will yes. definitely allow him to find a way there. Seeing the ban come to the front of the deck, Kai looking for the best way possible to do enough damage to this Giratina. As you said, probably his best route to victory, getting rid of um, Kai's biggest damage threat. And then, of course, that Arceus only on 30 HP still. Yes, so it looks like the choice is going to be a choice belt and the capacious bucket, and the bucket just going to be played straight away to grab a water energy. Grab water. And that's going to be everything that uh, Kai needs, as long as Kai has the extra V star in hand, which I don't see. Still don't see it. But there it does have an Iridor yes, in Yes, so correct? that yeah. should be able to grab it. And uh, looks like there's going to be a cross switcher as well. And I do actually believe with the choice belt, this is enough for the KO. Yeah, I think the uh, Guardi was causing him a bit of trouble there, but I think with the belt, he's able to yeah. just jump over that threshold. Mm -hmm. So. There you go, choice belt onto the Palkia, and then sort of Kai just sorting out the board a little bit, just uh, making sure that the Inteleon is nice and neat. Always uh, love Definitely to see that. Definitely a pleasure for us. Yes. A tidy board makes this job a lot easier. And yeah. the Irida, of course, as we mentioned, one water Pokemon and an item card. Opt in for the Palkia here, and perhaps the quick ball, it looks like he moves to the front of the deck. So Palkia, the main candidate of what he needs here. There's yes. going to be no attack this turn. There's going to be no knockout on that Giratina without it. And Kai also maybe considering grabbing Evolution Incense plus a Water. That way, that's the extra basic needed on the bench to make sure that that damage is enough. Um, but the kind of I'm mean, annoying about which way you're around to do it because you could grab Quick Ball and the V Star, or you could grab the Evolution the Incense and a basic. And yeah, yeah, definitely. So I think you, I think Kai's deciding which way around is better. Trying to find out what gives him more value late game. I think obviously the Evolution Incense still being able in the late game to find him those Drizziles. That in a uh, quick shoot and Inteleon that we might see uh, maybe have a chance to snipe this uh, Arceus down. Yeah, and then using the Quick Ball to discard a Raihan, which given that Raihan isn't very useful right now because it can only be used when a Pokemon is knocked out. And if Adam knocks out a Pokemon, he wins the game anyway. It's so curtains anyway. Yeah, so, so right hand going. Going, going, gone. There's the V-Star, and, v -star the v -star. and that will be ju just about. Just <laughs> enough to get himself the knockout here. And Adam, in a pr peculiar situation here, he had such a strong grip on this game. Kai very playing that turn very well, being able to position himself great, taking away Adam's biggest threat 
And now, of course, he needs to find a way to charge up another Pokemon with Arceus. And the right hand will do just that, yep. allowing him to attach one energy from the discard and then search his deck for any card. Yeah. I imagine that Adam will probably, if possible, want to get another Giratina on board, although there is a possibility that that is not in play because there is still a Giratina V in the prizes. So and one as I recall, these there is only a 2-2. Two two two. Two, right? So that actually means that Adam can't get out another Giratina right now. No, it doesn't. And I mean, for him, it is, you know, that is going to cause him a little bit of problems here. Giratina, the only thing that can take a clean one-hit knockout on that V-Star. Yeah. So having to hit it twice here, and the Arceus, do, Arceus doing just that. Yes. Kai now, it's an interesting situation. He needs to almost, you know, there's no there's no Drizzle down, so it's not like he can sort of, uh, here he could go for the quick shooting twice, if that was so. Yes. Maybe take the knockout on the Arceus and hit into something else. Mm -hmm. But... There's not really many other options here apart from hitting with his Pelkia, uh, yeah. leaving it in the active, and even the Arceus V just doing 130 damage for three energy will be enough to clean up the rest y of the game. Yeah, Kai isn't in a state where it's impossible to win, but it is very difficult because there is only one Palkia on the board that is severely damaged, and if there is a way to do it, Kai would probably ideally like to attack Vintelli on this turn because that would still be enough to KO the Arceus, but then it would be leaving a single prizer in the active. Yeah. But I don't really see a way for Kai to do that, do that right now because there's no access to Raihan because there was no knockout and it got discarded anyway. Just looking through <laughs> his deck, about the same size as his hand. Yeah, now. So yeah. Looking, looking through both, um, looking in the deck now for those who couldn't tell the difference between the two. Um, this Drizzle allowing him to get an item card. I don't know if there's much left in there that's going to give him sort of instant value no. here. Um, those cross which are, you know, already having made a big cross switcher play this game, and he chooses yes. to scoop. Kai realizing the writing's on the wall, it's going to be very unlikely for him to win the game, and perhaps opting to have that extra time to try and get a 2 1 victory. R writing on the wall, that wasn't the pun, was it? No, no, no. no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see the Palkia start, but there I did also see a Battle VIP pass in hand. And his prize is a lot better this time. Yes, the two Evo incense, but it does mean that all his Drizzles are in deck, able yes. to see those naturally. And Adam, two Arceus V again. They oh. are just loving that little glass sheet on the table, wanting to stay there for this afternoon. Yeah, two yeah. lovely sofas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are some really, really lovely sofas. Um, not for sale, unfortunately. <laughs> they're, they're ours. But uh, and back to the game. Yeah. And Kai here again. Battle VIP pass. We've seen it so often already today. We'll continue to see it for the rest of the day. The best card on turn one. Do you, do you think you'd use a battle VIP pass to buy two sofas? I, I think it's worth it. Right? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think, think so. I think I would definitely <laughs> in value say that they are equal. <laughs> Just depend it depends who's selling. Yeah. It depends who's selling. Yeah, I agree. Thing. Anyway, enough about <laughs> that. Um, yeah, Kai's restart has been very, very strong here. We can see going for the Greninja straight away, of course. Double Sobble, um, pretty much everything you want to get going. The, and the other, only uh, other ideal thing, of course, would be to get a second Palkia down. As we mentioned, uh, we saw that there was a struggle with Kai chaining attackers in the last matchup. So I'm sure you want to do that as, m as quickly as possible. And then uh, going back. course and um, going straight off the bat with the Avery. Yes. Uh, Avery drawing in three cards. Kai not having to discard anything off his bench though. Only three Pokemon on his bench to start with. Yeah. And Adam now searching his deck. I'm not sure if he's gone in. The oh the quick ball on yeah. that side of the table. Yes. So discarding a psychic energy yeah. and going in to find himself yeah. another basic Pokemon. Yeah and that's the thing about Avery right. The whole point of it as a card is that it obviously has this very powerful bench discarding effect for the opponent but it is also a card that can just draw free and bail you out when you need to. Uh, and yeah. th that's one of the whole reasons why it's uh, seen strength and play as like a I guess you could say like a power supporter right yeah I think uh, it was a really interesting time like a, a little while ago they, they sort of brought a couple of these sort of draw three and an additional effect you know we had bird keeper and yeah, I yeah, switch yeah. Out and draw three uh, Avery draw three Melanie attach a water energy from the discard draw three yeah a couple of really strong cards there and as you said that the extra addition of the cards as well as just what it does uh, really makes them yeah. a valuable card to have in your deck. And then Gardenia's Vigor is, is only draw two. Yeah. Where's the justice? <laughs> Where is the justice? One of my favorite gym leaders as well, I must say. I, I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that your I gym leader got hard done by. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I don't mind Melanie either. <laughs> so uh, Adam here coming. Oh, the path straight down. Ooh. He is making sure that Kai next turn, no Greninja. No star portal. Let's try and close him out this game as quickly as possible. I have not had the best start. No, no. Trinity charge turn one this time. Only a capture energy on the arc as well, meaning he needs a DTE next turn. Not his best turn. Yeah. And honestly, although the path obviously doesn't do nothing, I don't think Kai is as hurt by it as uh, 
you know, Adam would like him to, like it to be because, of course, it stops the Star Portal, but Kai can just attach an energy and attack that way. It stops the Radiant Greninja, so sure, that's not ideal. But it also shuts off Adam's Radiant Gardevoir. Yes, it does, indeed. Those Radiant Pokemon, lots of people forget sometimes they are, in fact, rule box Pokemon. Only one allowed in the deck, so Path of the Peak becoming a valuable card to stop those. And the Irida here grabbing the Palkia V-Star. Kai, this time, no hiccups in the early game, able to get back down to two and going for the level ball. Perhaps maybe seeing another Sobble or alternatively a Drizzle coming down this turn. Yes. So Palkia V-Star evolving from the Palkia V straight away. Manaphy down as well. And Water Energy already in hand, ready to attack. Not quite enough still to get the KO. Um, would need another Pokemon on the bench and a choice belt and looks like and that's I not I really possible. like this play from Kai. He knows that the path is down. He knows that Adam has access to cards like Marnie, leaving the level ball in hand, not needing it too soon, leaving a Sobble Beer, should yes. I say, for a Drizzle to be dropped next turn, allowing him to um, have access to cards and not relying on Greninja too yes. much. Uh, really, really smart there by Kai. Hitting into that Greninja and Adam, two choice oh. bands and a research, needing to attach those choice bands, so <laughs> making sure he gets a bit of value out of them somewhat uh, and choice um, choice belts to choi be fair. choice belt of course band two and adam now going back into his deck or is no no just drawing off the research oh, just drawing off the research yes. drawing off the research that's his seven cards yep and uh now we get to good get a, we get a good look here to see what's Come been drawn uh, and SB on V again making a feature another path to Marnie and as I said you know the Marnie of a huge possibility I know he's already researched this turn but you know yeah. it was a possibility and maybe that Kai was looking out for with the it's path not in play. really a great hand though it's like not, no DTE for the Arceus no activator and no switch out as well no. for him to move that Giratina no exactly which means that it's mo li most likely going to go down now this turn and Kai in a favorable position already in this game. Adam not having the answers for him so far, and that level ball coming down this time. And I think now we'll see the Drizzile. Yeah. So, yeah, level ball for that Drizzile, and that's going to be able to continue that shady de dealings chain. Kai's got to be pretty happy with the turn that Adam just took because, you know, Adam's turn could have been, you know, switch, double turbo, Trinity Nova, get a Giratina powered up, all this good stuff. And instead it was basically attaching energy and then... And lots of tools. Yes. Just, just attaching... Nice accessories to all of his Pokemon, yes. and that is that is pretty much all. A Psychic Energy on the Arceus. It does mean, however, the Arceus, not out of the game yet, it can attack next turn if it doesn't go down this turn with just one attachment. Yep, and then it's going to be... But there's one second here. So... Now we're going with the Evolution Intense again, and uh, or just... just trying to decide what to get off of the Shady Dealings rather and looks like there's going to be a scoop up there and a boss's orders, boss's Ooh, orders. and it spells Kai, danger yeah it spells danger he realizing here that the Giratina is not going to be able to activate themselves Arceus being the boss man in the deck yes. commanding those energies telling them where to go Kai realizing that and making sure the threat is taken away yeah. before it gets a chance to do it. You say Arcus is boss man. I think the boss man just brought <laughs> up the Arcus for a KO. The boss man brought up the god man, should we say? Yes. Right. So now goes then it over to Adam. Wait, wait, no, that's oh, a scoop. Oh, oh, and there's a scoop from Adam. Adam realizes. I said, you know what? Yeah. I actually think this is smart. Adam I think realizing so as well. No way to get those energies down on Giratina. As we mentioned before, the Mirage Gate, not something he has a lot of access to in there. The big charm could play a big part in this, obviously. We saw in the first game trying to protect himself yeah, from the true. knockout there with that. That in the prizes. And Adams, also not looking too bad. The Arceus has finally decided that, they, that they're going to have, they're going to come to the game <laughs> this time. Yep. They're, they're done on vacation. And uh, the Avery and one Giratina in there as well. Too quick ball. Uh, could make his first turn a little bit slower than usual. But he starts it up with a capture energy. Most probably getting down that Arceus he wants. Yes, although the mini on V as a starting Pokemon is not really ideal, of course. Um, not ideal at all. Of course, you want to be using that to use the uh, it's called Luminous Sign ability, get a supporter from your deck, but if you start with it, you, that, that's not really going to happen. It's definitely not. However, only one retreat, so not the worst start that he could have had in his deck. He is able to get out with that, and going straight for the path, shutting off that Greninja from day dot, 
but Kai, the Irida in hand, and he is going to play that straight down. Yeah. I think, um, obviously, Adam had to attach the capture engine to the active to get anything out, but this also means that there's no turn one attachment on an Arceus, and that hurts him a lot. Yes. Especially going first, like, that's exactly what you need to do to cement that turn two Trinity Nova really sort of take advantage of going first, but Adam hasn't really been able to do that here. Yeah, I think we mentioned right at the start of the game, right, Arceus, a very simple turn one that it wants, but an absolutely necessary one. Yes. And, uh, yeah, missing those attachments can really hurt it late on. And, of course, Kai, once again, three for three, a VIP pass again off the Irida, opting to get the Sobble out as well, and now going back in to get the rest of his friends. We see a Sobble come to the front of the deck. Yes, uh, Sobble plus, obviously, you can go for... So one more idea for hat I would be ideal for yeah. perhaps here. Well, especially considering uh, I do believe that there was another Sobble already in Kai's hand. So yeah, it's definitely going to be going for the Palkia here, I would imagine. Just having a look at those yes. prizes and putting the Palkia to the front. So I think imminently we will see that. Um, do you think that Kai's in a good position here? The Luminion, an easy two prizes for him to take with those cross switches. Uh, Pelkia definitely, well not definitely, you know, uh, very likely to be able to hit that damage, 170, all he needs to get through a Luminion. Yeah, and actually, um, we were slightly wrong in the sense that there was no, so off of the Battle VIP pass, Kai went for two Sobbles, but that's because he had a, a Palkia and a Sobble in hand. In so hand, yeah. so a, a very, very strong turn one again from Kai. And not only that, but like Adam doesn't really have a solid way to take a knockout here. Like, you know, there's no a way for Adam to accelerate energy and get a Trinity Nova going this turn. So Adam is going to kind of have to like really struggle here and think about how he wants to best approach this and minimize the risk of something disrupting his setup. And it looks like the answer to that is going to be attach a grass energy and then Marnie. Yes, there are some incredible duos in the world. Dick and Dom, Ant and Death, <laughs> none more likely than Marnie and Path to try and close your opponent out of the game. Uh, cards that we see in combination very, very, very commonly. D D Dick and Dom was my childhood, I'll have you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good duo. Yeah, I yeah, don't quite is. think it's on path, uh, no. path Marnie's <laughs> level, I'll be honest. No. So and Adam, there again, another really slow turn. Kai really needs to grasp this game by the horns now. That Drizzle is going to start him off nicely, go in that deck, push him forward. He's going to really hope here that he can perhaps take a knockout on the Arceus B. That would be his most ideal scenario here, being able to cross switch it or boss into that. It's going to be another really, really solid turn for Kai as uh, Adam basically finding nothing off of the Marnie. And uh, sort of I if your opponent plays a Marnie and then just like passes straight away, you've got to be thinking, this is my game to take. Exactly. You've got to, as long as, as long as the Marnie was slightly kinder to you than it was to them, yes. you should be able to find a way through. The Erida here does mean, though, that the cross switch is going to be far more likely yes. than the boss, of course. And uh, Kai... Opting here to go for that rear candy we were talking about. The oh. Inteleon already in hand as well. Oh, wow. Okay. Already got half the combo right there for him. Able to grab two cross switcher with just one card. If that's what he chooses to do. God, oh God, that is insanely strong. Now, I think the only saving grace for Adam here is that even if Kai were to find a fifth bench and a choice belt, that would be, what, 210 damage, which Ten. wouldn't quite be enough for a wouldn't knockout. Be enough. But an Arceus before it's done anything, being yes. on 210, is not a nice position you want to be in. And of course, we've mentioned a couple of times before, not seen it yet, but that quick shooting, Inteleon is in the deck, meaning that if that Arceus is looking a little bit frail on the bench and isn't able to evolve, it can be picked off at a later point. So it looks like Kai playing it a bit safer here, making sure he's got all the tools to keep himself in the game set himself up, make sure he's got the best position possible to push forward and going for the scoop up net. Yeah. And I think the bucket here, the bucket grabbing with two energies. And I think the net here, picking up that Inteleon and yeah. resetting back down to a Sobble. Yeah. And at this point, if you know you can't go for the KO on the Arceus, you may as well KO the active. Just like, take the two prizes, you know, start that prize trade tempo race in your favor. Because like, um, sure, Either way, Adam's going to be able to evolve into the V-Star, perhaps, and do a Star Birth next turn. But Adam also did nothing after Amani, so you probably aren't thinking that Adam has the best of hands to work with anyway. Adam as well, sort of closing his hand in his own door as well, with that path still being in play. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Uh, yeah. The V-Star coming down next turn. Obviously, something that he's going to want. He's going to hope he hits a stadium of some sort, though, yeah. to be able to bunt that. Yeah. Otherwise, he's going to continue to be locked under his Although, own Amani. Interestingly, uh, Kai in that whole setup, not choosing to go for another bench Pokemon, so actually not KOing Luminion. Was it impossible with the setup he had? Like, um, was it I'm trying to think. He definitely, Pelkia, he didn't have another basic in hand. Um, 
didn't opted not to use the scoop up net this turn as well. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I assume I assume not. It doesn't look. Like I didn't have a ban, so no, I don't think the damage was ever possible from the hand that he had. One sixty being his cap. Um, so quick shooting looking pretty nice now though for the. Oh, that, that is that is very true. Weird. Yeah. And of course Greninja, you know Moonlight Moonlight Shuriken doing yes. ninety and ninety, also doing ninety to that Arceus. KOing that Luminion could also be a good turn we yeah. see. And that Arcee is doing what it does best <laughs> and, and attacking, but unfortunately, just one energy to Luminion. There, perhaps if Adam wants to move it in and back yeah. out again with a retreat, very smart, very safe to do. However, he, he's going to wish that was another attacker yeah. or another Arceus. And there we go as well with uh, Adam's turn just being ultra for Arceus V-Star and then attack. No Still starburst. nothing going. And yeah, blocked off from Starbirth by... Is his own hand as well. And only two cards left in hand after all of that as well. So yeah. next turn, not looking too fruitful either, um, unless he's able to top deck something really nice. Kai attaching to our one prize, uh, Inteleon, able to do 120 damage for two Ooh. energy and 20 damage to the bench, which would be enough to take that sweet two prizes on the Luminion. Yes, it would. And it, not only that, but it would be a double knockout scenario, right? Because 160 onto the uh, Arceus plus 120, that's 280, which is an exact. So that would be a double knockout, in fact, would if it was to happen. Uh, Kai here choosing to Marnie. Uh, no, Adam Marnied. Oh, Adam Marnied. My bad. Yeah. Adam Marnied. So uh, that, that was obviously, he, that, that was an out. He, he drew, drew that off the top of the deck, but... Still not finding anything to work with. I mean, look at this. Nothing, just a rope, a path, already one in play, the Marnie again, Zigzagoon. Not the right time to be playing that, just getting a, a, an extra damage counter down, but that wants to be done in, in pair with the choice band, of yeah. course, on Arceus. An energy for retreat onto the Zigzagoon oh as goodness. well. And Adam really clutching at straws here. Yeah, And this is one instance where, sure, Kai doesn't have any power gears left, but it really does not matter because... Like, as long as there's one water energy in hand, and I believe there is. Oh, okay, just drew one, even if there wasn't one. Um, going to be able to take a double knockout here, and Adam's left with a Zigzagoon with an energy. What does he even do? <laughs> I mean, uh, it seems like a pretty b strong board state to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not even the right energy. Can't even do Zigzagoon's attack for Dark Colorless, can he? It's a psychic. So, yeah, Kai definitely here, able to slam the door shut on Adam stopping him having anything in the game of course no Arceus V down at the minute either meaning no. that that's not even a possibility to claw back in no. on the following turn and there's an Irida as well so that both times when Adam played the Marnie just basically helping Kai out much more than himself and uh, you've got to be you got to be pretty sad if you're in Adam's shoes right now this is uh, just not looking good at all and it's so out of your control as well I think Marnie, Marnie Path dropping down in the duos yep. list now. I think Dick and Don back on top now. <laughs> you know, it's not worked out too well for Adam twice as well. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, yeah, that's the thing. When you Marnie Path, you're meant to break your opponent, mm, not yes, yourself. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> that's <laughs> well, you hope anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, and uh, it seems to all be green lights for Kai at the minute. The Marnie activating his hand a lot. Coming back into that Inteleon again, being able to search for two more item cards if he put trainer cards if he puts it down. And then the scoop up net as well. Yes, and uh, I think that there's basically almost no way Kai loses this game. But as, as I like to say, any <laughs> anything is possible. Uh, anything can happen in Pokemon, and it usually does. It definitely <laughs> usually does. Pa paraphrasing the late great Murray Walker, <laughs> <laughs> but um, all the same, looking at this to me is like very clear that there's almost like no chance of Adam making a comeback. I here. think as well for. Not only is he in a dominant position, but Adam's asked no questions of him yet, which no, means no. he has access to a lot of his key cards still. Um, you know, he's not been put under a lot of pressure where he's had to play cards yeah. in, you know, an order that wouldn't be suitable for him. Yeah. He hasn't had to I discard mean, anything. Let's, so be, let's be real. Kai hasn't even used a V-Star power yet. The exactly. Star Portal has not been used. I mean, there has been path in play, granted. But as soon as Kai finds a counter stadium, then... Exactly. Yeah. I, think that, I think that, you know, he still has all the answers left in deck. And he's been the one asking the questions to Adam as well with no answer, no reply. And it's Inteleon, four prizes there. Completely wiping out Adam's attackers and Adam has to just send up the Zigzagoon being left to do all the work on its own. And uh, it's not quite over yet. Not quite over yet. But it, it, it basically is. The writing is there can kai finish this book this chapter and push himself to a 3-0 record 
He chooses the Greninja's cut. No, he doesn't. No, maybe not. It, it is, I think he's making sure that he doesn't do something silly that surrenders this, you yes. know. This dominant lead. The quick ball. Starting at Adam. Starting right, right hand. Again, in a similar situation. Right hand, really strong card. Able to, you know, after a knockout, attach an energy search for any card. But again, if Kai takes another knockout, except for on the Zigzagoon, yeah. it's curtain. Yeah, oh, the only thing is, right, um, Adam could have maybe used right hand this turn, possibly, because he could have quick balled something else away, gotten the Arceus and right hand to it. But uh, I think. thing for Marnie, he has yeah. not felt burnt by the Marnie yet, still relying <laughs> on Earth to try and find a way back into this game. The Giratina finally coming down on Adam's side of the board, but it, there's a feeling I think it's too late now for that Giratina to put in the legwork that it usually does. Yeah, obviously Adam's going to try his absolute best. He is a esteemed player, one of one of the best, and he's going to fight hit this tooth and nail. This is the man who took Agron <laughs> V Max to the World Championships and finished in the top 16. If anyone can find a way out, it's him, as unlikely as it may seem. And just the attachment and pass here, Adam, at the minute, not living up to that hype that we are talking about an incredible player i'm sure that he is thinking of every single possible way that he can get out of this keep himself in the game but kai has this game in both hands at the minute you have to say yes and kai is just now maybe determining if it is possible to win this turn but he really doesn't need to right he can just play it very very safe yeah. i guess oh, that's in a nice sense. The echoing horn for the mini on oh. that damage cap that he needs to get to with the pelkia for a knockout is a lot lower also, he could even go here with Greninja, take a knockout on the Zigzagoo, meaning that he's only got a little bit of damage on Luminion for the next turn. B well, There's now, as, sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt. No, as, as long as Kai has a way to bring up the Luminion, that is game. No questions. Yeah, yeah, no questions asked. And he's just looking here, checking all of his out, seeing if he has the answers. That one cross switch is still in the prizes. So, you know, uh, the great thing about Inteleon and Drizal is you can hand pick the cards you want. The odds aren't lowered for you needing yes. to draw into them. So Kai has access to that if he needs it. Going for the Drizzle here. And he's going to grab a trainer card from deck. Yeah. Uh, we did already see Kai use two cross switches this game. So yeah. with the four being in the prizes, actually, that's probably that's not going to be an option. So it looks like it's just going to be a oh. Melanie instead. And uh, maybe just going to even like take a knockout on this Zigzagoon, maybe. I, it's um, If you don't have access to your other set of cross switches, then you kind of have to knock this out at some point, unfortunately. Even though ideally you wouldn't want to because it kind of doesn't get you further to winning yeah. when there's already two prizes on the board. Melanie drawing three. Can Kai see the V-Star, the energy, and a switch out here? Possibly. Hand just off screen. Can't see what's in it at the minute. Checking his discard, seeing what's in there. Knowing that he's already played those cross switches before, having irritated there's, there's the Evo incense. Yes. So uh, obviously that's going to grab the Palkia V-Star, which was very, very important. We do see that there is still a boss's orders in Kai's deck, so that could be another way to seal the win earlier. Again. Yes. Um, Looks like he's opting to go for the Inteleon here, perhaps for this turn, perhaps to secure the game next turn. This turn it does come down. Back in. Yep. And that is, that just shows the power of Inteleon, doesn't it? Drizzile in, back in with Inteleon. This is, this is something that's very important to learn as well. When you're in a commanding lead, sometimes if you know that you have extra turns to buy, it is more sensible to not go for the immediate win, but go for the win that the you know works. Oh, wait. There. Wait, didn't, wasn't it two already played this maybe game? Maybe another game. No, maybe know. it was. Yeah, maybe it was. <laughs> okay, well, in that case, <laughs> yeah, that's it. And that is it. Kai finding that double cross switcher. That Inteleon absolutely showing its power there. It continues to be a dominating force in our formats. And what a card and what a player. Kai on another... Good run. He's had a couple of really good finishes recently and today is looking no different.